Hey, what's up guys? My name is Daniel and in my hands is a brand spanking new gun from g, &G. It's one of the guns we saw at SHOT Show that I was personally excited for. This is the new CM16-300 bot. So the CM in the name does stand for Combat Machine, which is a very popular line from g, g and is something I would personally recommend. Combat Machines are well known for their extreme reliability, but also their affordable price point. This new Combat Machine they have here has seen some new internal and external upgrades, so let's jump into those details right now. The most noticeable external feature about this gun is the newly in-house designed Keymod rail system that is CNC machine and all metal. Keymod is a great rail platform because it allows the user to have complete modularity. The way it works is you have these slots here where you can add rail panels or rail segments wherever you want. But the other advantage is if you don't want to have the rail panels there, it will cut down the weight dramatically. I'm sure you guys can guess, but a lot of these accessories are not going to come included with the gun, but this is how I would set up if it was my own personal gun. What I did here was add a basic Keymod rail segment at the bottom, which is going to be your standard Picatinny rail, and then I attached the new Hair Arms grip from ASG. Along with the key mod segments where you can add more additional rails, you do have small Picatinny rails up on the front of the gun on the right, left, and bottom, which is a very common place to add a flashlight or a laser. The other great thing about this rail system is the two included quick detach sling mounts, which is going to be located on the right and also on the left. This gun is designed more for CQB style of play, being that it is, the inner barrel length is going to be 205 millimeters with an inner barrel diameter of 6.08, which is very standard for most stock guns. This barrel extension that you see here from PTS is not included, but I added this because the original flash hider is an MK18 style and it's going to allow me to add barrel extensions very easily. The barrel itself is also free float, but is very solid and allows no wobble whatsoever. The upper and lower receiver of this gun is made out of the same polymer as all of the other combat machines. I'm personally a huge fan of the polymer that they use because it's extremely lightweight and very durable. This polymer allows it to be flexible before it breaks, which adds for more durability. It is so strong, in fact, that this is the same platform that we use for our own custom G4 line of guns. On the left side of the gun, we're going to have a standard M4 selector switch, left for safe, up for semi, and right for full auto. The bolt catch is just aesthetics and just for looks. On the right side of the gun, we are going to have the magazine release, and in the back, we also have a functioning charging handle to adjust your hop-up. Another great feature that is included with this gun are these all-metal flip up and down iron sights. These iron sights have also been in-house designed by the guys in G&G. &G. What I really like about them is that the rear iron sight is fully adjustable up, down, left, and right without the use of any tools and just with your hands alone. Internally, the gun is going to feature an all-metal spring guide, an aluminum cylinder, and a polycarbonate cylinder head and piston head. We're going to have a standard torque motor that's going to rotate at about 18,000 RPMs. And one of the great upgrades that we've seen with this new gun is it now is going to come with a MOSFET. In my opinion, MOSFETs are a great way to increase overall reliability of your AEG and also dramatically increase the trigger response of your gun. Over the last few years, we're starting to see more and more companies include MOSFETs into their guns, and I'm really happy to see that g, g is now offering MOSFETs into their combat machine series at still a very affordable price. In between the buffer tube and the lower receiver, we're also going to have more sling mounts that are included with this gun that will be featured on the right and left side of the gun. Now, I can tell you guys from personal experience that this gun, even though it is a combat machine, does not shoot like a combat machine. It shoots, in fact, better. The trigger response is even quicker, and I feel like the gears and the overall mechanics are just a lot healthier.
I hope you guys enjoyed this first look at a new gun coming from G&G and stay tuned for a lot of other new guns and accessories coming from G&G in the near future. Before I forget, this gun will be retailing around the 210 price point and FPS should be around the 330 mark, but some of those details are subject to change. If you guys want to find out more information about this gun or other new upcoming products from G&G, stay tuned to our website at airsoftgi.com or also gitactical.com for East Coast shipping. I'm also very happy to announce that G&G is going to be an official sponsor of an upcoming BB Wars event. Be sure to let us know what you guys think about this new gun from G&G or other new upcoming products in the comment section below. As always, my name is Daniel, this is GITV, and thanks for watching.